Good morning, Eric and Jessica, to both of you. I've been talking to parents as well as teachers out here. Many of these teachers say they're going to protect and then also protest along with these people. This is Gratz Elementary School here in the Westlake District. Now, some of these parents say they are now scrambling for child care with that potential three day strike. Now, take a look at this. Uh, as you know, this is something that is still on the table. And a lot of folks are saying that this is a great potential here. LAUSD says they're trying to prevent a 72 hour strike from shutting down schools, which could possibly start as early as tomorrow morning, impacting 420,000 and students and their families. A strike would be a huge disruption to the second largest school district in the nation. District officials are urging parents to prepare for limited child care at some campuses. Schools would be closed and limited child student meals and academic plans. Now, Local 99 SEIU represents cafeteria and kitchen workers, bus drivers, teachers, and security aides and custodians. The teachers union has also urged their 30,000 members to take part in this strike. District officials say they're waiting on a state labor board to make a decision by as late as today on whether the potential strike by local 99 SEIU is legal. Now take a look. UTLA is pushing for a 20% raise for its workers. SEIU is seeking roughly 30%, saying many of its workers are paid poverty wages of about $25,000 per year. Now, district officials have responded, saying they made, quote, one of the strongest offers ever proposed by Los Angeles Unified Superintendent, and that the 15% wage increase plus roughly 10% bonus does not represent the end of the road. Meantime, LAUSD officials say 80% of their students come from low-income families and they're providing the care that they need. Back out here live, coming up in the next hour, we're going to hear what those plans are. We know that there is limited meal service that will be offered tomorrow morning all the way from 7.30 to 10.30 a.m., as well as child supervision throughout most of the days. We're going to have that detailed information, but for now, you can go to LAUSD.net. Reporting live here in the Westlake District, Gene Kang, back to you in the studio.